So your boy Mendeecees here is Mr. Drug Kingpin himself. Did not want to go to prison without leaving the fans a nice little message. All about how he felt about the situation and a little bit of information about his background. And I mean, this stuff that he was saying just had me like, eh. is he trying to gain sympathy? Is he trying to take our minds off of the fact that he sold dope and was allegedly arrested for taking part in having two point five million dollars, two point five million dollars in heroin and what was it, heroin and cocaine moving throughout America I mean if he wants sympathy from the people I don't know how much of it he's going to get but it was a really interesting message I mean he said he was eating sugar sandwiches and borrowing rice from people <laughs> I mean wow that's I, I probably shouldn't be laughing because after me losing my livelihood I'll be eating a sugar sandwich next week with some borrowed rice okay maybe not but the point is this though after I read to you guys what he wrote on Instagram, I just want to know, man, is he trying to gain sympathy? Is he trying to make us feel as if what he did wasn't wrong because he comes from very humble beginnings? Or was he just saying, you know, that like, did he just have some stuff he needed to get off his chest? And this is just his way of venting before he went into the pen. Because, I mean, if he's going away into the year 2021, which I have a separate video about that, just type in. Mendeecees Harris release date my video pop up and uh, you know I showed the information in that video but you know he is going away he is being taken away from his family so no matter what he did of course it's gonna hurt but hey at least he'll be back out someday anyways here's what he said and I quote I know for some of you it feels like we've been here before it's the never-ending story or some of you are probably so sick of hearing about me in this case that you completely tapped out and just don't give a fuck anymore maybe never did for you stop reading now and please unfollow as soon as possible this message is for all those that have supported me grew with me changed hearts minds and perspectives with me when i was young hungry and closed-minded i acted as such now i'm wiser but his wisdom born through pain so that means enduring this will just make me wiser and stronger but who would have thought, quote, young DC that wore the ripped up worn shoes that went to school on sugar sandwiches and borrowed rice would ever have a voice to speak to the masses? I was the one with nothing, no push to go to school, no dinner on the table at night, no kiss goodbye in the morning. All I had was me for a while, just plain old me. I don't have college degrees, a huge resume of internships and jobs would be able to influence a generation. Who would have thought that my family would be a beacon of hope and love throughout a community that so often taught family dysfunction, dissension, and disloyalty? Men, step up. I've been there where you are, and I learned in the end, it truly is family over everything. Fathers, go raise men. Men to lead their family. Men to do the right thing. No matter what you had to do, or may still be doing, raise them babies right. Also. When you raise a man, you teach an individual. But when you raise a woman, you build a nation. Wait a minute. I'll get back to that. Anyway, protect our nation builders, fellas. I could go on for days, but I want y'all to know I'm good. Broken hearted, but good. My family is strong, real strong, so they're good. Keep at the Harris Bunch and your prayers, and I will keep you all updated through my brother running my page. Be blessed. Keep in contact, build and encourage each other, stop the hating, and see you when I return back, 100, end quote. So yeah, I mean, uh, he said, when you raise a man, you teach an individual, but when you raise a woman, you build a nation. Well, how so? How is raising a woman building a nation? It doesn't even make any sense. It's like, sometimes guys want to compliment women to the point where They'll just say any old goofy thing thinking that, you know, women should feel insulted when men say stuff like that. Raising a woman is not building a nation. It has nothing to do with building a nation. And as far as building nations go, 
it's going to be the men who build nations. Because, I mean, no offense to black women. I'm just saying no. Black women for many years now, in probably the hundreds of thousands, if not possibly even the millions, said, I don't need no man. And that shit didn't work out too well now, did it? As far as our people were concerned. And this is not me shading black women. I'm just keeping it 100% with you right now. That mess doesn't work. The last thing that we should be saying is that women build a nation. It's the men who are going to end up building a nation if it ever happens. Or it may be black women and black men together. But it's definitely not going to be black women building the nation by themselves. Because they would have been done it. And that's just being honest. That's just reality. But then again, we got Mr. Trap King over here. <laughs> Who's saying this? So can, I mean, uh, I mean, you, I guess you could take his word with a grain of salt. Once again, no offense to black women. I don't mean any offense by saying this. But anyways, you know, I've talked a lot of shit about Mendeecees. I throw him under the bus. I made fun of him in over the last few years or so, a couple years, two, well, more like three years, I guess. Yeah, season four, that was 2013, that was 2016, so about three years now. But anyway, as many times as I've thrown this man under the bus and I made fun of him and stuff like that, you know, I just hope that when he comes out, he'll be reformed. And he'll be doing something else, you know, other than selling drugs. Because doing that definitely destroys people. And I understand, you, you know, he might say, well, I was just trying to do something for my family. But Yandy's supposed to be this musician's manager or whatever. So why didn't she just hire him for a position? Why didn't he become her assistant? You know what I mean? I, I would think that there's plenty of other things that he could have been doing he could have become a manager and said listen teach me whatever you know there's plenty of alternatives it's not like they don't have any connections and I don't think him dealing drugs helped him to get on the show was he still selling drugs when he was on the show if so why didn't he stop then because that's more income you know you gotta save and invest but anyway, this is all my opinion. What do you think about your boy Mendeecees here from Love of Hip Hop New York Season 6 going to jail? Do you think he deserves it? Do you think he should have got more time? He's getting out in 2021. Do you think he should have stayed in longer? Do you think he shouldn't go to jail at all? Or do you think he should have a reduced sentence? Whatever you think about it, let me know below in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. What job do you think that he should do instead of selling drugs? Where could you see Mendeecees being in life? You think he should have been a model, a rapper, a singer, a hairdresser, Yandy's assistant? Let me know what you think about it below. <gasps> Meet Magazine.